family of Derek Kitling has filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Rapids Parish Sheriff Mark Wood and RPSO Deputy Rodney Anderson. You may remember on November 6, uh, November 6, 2022, Kitling was shot and killed by Deputy Anderson during an altercation during a traffic stop on 7th Street in Alexandria. Now, Kitling's daughters are now suing Deputy Anderson, who was clear of any wrongdoing after shooting and killing their father. Colin Vidros has the latest on that lawsuit. According to the suit, Deputy Anderson was aggressive from the moment he pulled Kitling over in November of 2022 to check Kitling's dark window tint and modified exhaust pipe on his truck. The lawsuit claims Deputy Anderson gave Kitling conflicting commands about where Kitling should stand, and when Kitling moved away, the deputy became aggressive. The lawsuit then describes that Kitling, defending himself, wrestled with Deputy Anderson and took control of the deputy's taser. Footage from the deputy's body camera, dash camera, and a cell phone video from a witness showed the two men scuffling to the ground. The video also showed the moment the taser is fired, but the moment Anderson fires his service gun is not clearly visible. According to the lawsuit, the deputy shot Kitling once in the head, killing him. Rapids Parish District Attorney Philip Terrell released a letter in April indicating that Deputy Anderson would not be charged, declaring that evidence overwhelmingly demonstrates that the actions were justified. I think anyone with a with a non-biased eye can look at the officer's actions leading up to the shooting and say the officer was aggressive in the situation. This was a routine traffic stop that should not have been that should not have resulted in the loss of Mr. Kitling's life. Rapids Parish Sheriff Mark Wood is also listed as a defendant in the lawsuit, which alleges he failed to maintain policies and procedures that protect civilians from reckless indifference of defendants, parish agents, servants, and employees in its sheriff department. In their initial report, LSP claims Kitling was shot from reaching and allegedly gaining control of the RPSO deputy's taser. Kitling is the brother of Lieutenant Colonel Kenny Van Buren, who was promoted to lead LSP's Bureau of Investigations in 2021. LSP officials assured the public they would perform a thorough and impartial investigation into the shooting and said Van Buren would not be involved. Now, KALB reached out to RBSO for comment, but they have declined, saying they do not comment on pending litigation.